What's up, Artie? How's it going? Hey, you remember Artie? You, got, you guys are still friends? <laughs> Since when? You mean after what? You mean after? <laughs> after your last appearance? After, yeah, well, yeah, we're very friendly. We're show business friends. <laughs> Except you wouldn't go on, uh, we had a problem because I had this TV show. Right. And Artie was supposed to be in it. And he's not. No, he screwed me. What? I didn't screw anybody. It was strictly a, bu a business decision on my part. I would love to be on that show. <laughs> what was the business decision? He wanted to do some movie with Chris O'Donnell instead. So you're mad at him? No, no, he's a good man. Do you hold a grudge or anything like that? Nah, he's a good guy. I think he seems a little aggravated. I don't know. I mean, uh, but we still talk and everything. Really because I, 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 I can get bad sin for him. Who's Michelle Greppi? Yeah, you got a bad review in the paper by hey, Michelle Greppi. She hates you. Yeah. What'd she say? But the How New York Times loves me. But Michelle Greppi hates me. What is what something Michelle said? She says, uh, all the charm of a date rapist. <laughs> but a, a date rapist has to have charm, right? That's true. A date rapist has to have a lot of charm, right? <laughs> I would imagine so. Real rapists don't, but date rapists. They have to have enough charm to get you on a date. They gotta get you on a date, exactly. <laughs> it's like your butt <laughs> line. <laughs> so Norm, what brings you what brings you down here today? Uh oh. I'm gonna go on this Howard's Howard show and uh, promote my. Uh, I love how this is a two camera shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna come we, on we, we need you from every angle. <coughs> on the Howard Stern show, the great Howard Stern, and promote my uh, uh, situation comedy. Should I call it sitcom? Am I supposed to be looking at the camera? Yeah, look, look over. What? It doesn't matter. Look wherever. So I'm gonna do that. To tap into Howard's, you know, vast listenership. No, I know Howard's always been a big fan of you as a big supporter. You think he'll uh, he'll like your new show? Uh, do you care if he did or not? Yeah, I do. You do? Well, I, I care if he likes it. Yeah. What if he did? Let's say. Oh, that's, that's cool. You know, I did my movie Dirty Work. He didn't even watch it. <laughs> Were you disappointed he didn't watch it? I wish he watched it. <laughs> It's available hey, on I video. He just doesn't want to say it. <laughs> nah, he would say it. But hey, uh... <laughs> what are you going to do with that? That's <laughs> a cinema veritas. That's a cigarette. Let's get a shot of a cigarette. <laughs> I want to know where this, what are you going to do with the cigarette. <laughs> Norm McDonald's here. He's got a new TV show coming out. He finally showed up, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, it's like time to leave already. Norm showed really up late. trying to promote this show? I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when a guy shows up that late to promote a show... You know, you want the primetime audience, right? You want to get the biggest audience possible. Yeah. <laughs> Not like, Norm. We had him booked for 8.30 and he didn't get here until about yeah. 10 after 9. Wow. Not much. The late here comes Norm now. Guy. Now? Maybe he was making out with that flat broad over in the green room. Mm. <laughs> hey, look at Norm. He looks good. Looks like a big yeah, Hollywood star. happy, doesn't he? It looks all Hollywood. Yeah. You think? He went Hollywood on us. Yep. His sitcom. Wow. Looks homeless out. <laughs> looks homeless. That's not Hollywood. <laughs> he looks the opposite of Hollywood. <laughs> it looks Hollywood and mine. <laughs> hey, man, where's your Bob Dole makeup? Bob Dole. Bob Dole. See, I'm surprised you didn't do a sitcom where you're just Bob Dole. Hi, right. this is Bob Dole. Yeah, and I'm, I'm working on uh, Li Liddy Dole. You know her? The yeah. Are you going to do Elizabeth Dole? Are you going to do Liddy? That's right. Dole. How do you get Liddy from Elizabeth? I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? should be Libby, right? Right, Libby. Elizabeth. How do you get Libby from Elizabeth? Or Elizabethy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Lizbeth. So hey, I'm man. working on that. Good seeing you. I'm, L I'm Liddy Dole. <laughs> Hey, that's good. <laughs> hey, you got that Close down. Close your eyes, you wow. think she's here. Wow. <laughs> Put a curly wig on. Man, you're good. You're really talented. <laughs> I can't believe it. How's it going, man? Uh, all right. Hey, your show on Saturday was great. The, the yeah. new format where we cut Didn't everything you like up. The new format? Yeah, that's that's what that's the direction we're going in. Yeah, it was cool. Then we're gonna start shooting some uh, segments with a studio audience and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's when I'm going to come on and do uh, update. Weekend right? update. <laughs> well, why don't we do that one week? Uh, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be funny. Like, you can just do like... We'll see if you're funny. We'll see if you're any good. <laughs> I'll test you out, man. Uh, uh. So, um, anyway, you know, before we talk about this new TV show... Yes. 
A lot of pressure. But I, like, I don't think, Norm... You, you think it's pressure? Hey, Norm, are you married or not? Would you clear that up? What? Are you married? Uh, you're yeah. divorced, I heard. No, no. I got even in my notes. You've been divorced for five years, but you go around saying you're married. What? Are you not aware of the divorce? No, I'm married. Be honest with me. Are you really married? Yeah, absolutely. And you got a kid, right? I have a little boy, yeah. Yeah. How old's you your boy? But you don't like people to know that because it's bad for your image. No, I don't want, you know, what I, I've had like stalkers and stuff like that. Oh, you have uh, had stalkers? I, who I got stalking stalkers. Him? I would be afraid of somebody who would stalk Norm. Yeah. I had this one guy, right? That's mm. a scary part. In New York, he was all stalking me. And it was my own fault because I was like, I met him on the street. Yeah. And, I and was you real hung out with him? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> what? I'm an idiot. I'm you hung out with the guy? A little bit. <laughs> And then what happened? Uh, well, he was just this dude. I was walking down, and I was like, I, 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 had, I was coughing. I was coughing on the right. street, and I sort of saw him. He looked a little crazy. And then, like five blocks later, he's right beside me with a glass of water. Right. He goes, "Hey, man, I got you some water." <laughs> was it in a bottle or was it open? Like an open? No, an open like, thing. I don't and you drank it? I know. I didn't know what it was. And later, I thought, "You oh, drank God. the water from a stranger I out of a cup?" Ooh. I know. He seemed like. So, anyways, <laughs> then he would always then I always suppose there was some roofies in it. Really? Like, then no, it takes Norm back to his room and rapes him. Rapes. <laughs> <laughs> that almost happened later. Really? This what happened? Well, uh, he was uh, always <laughs> phoning me. I gave him my phone number. Why did you give him your phone number? Just my work phone number. Oh dear. Oh, You're not gay, are you? Not at all. No. All right. I didn't I'm think the, so. I'm the opposite of gay. You love girls. I like girls. All right. So anyway, this dude is right? that the opposite of gay? Uh, that would be the. Opposite <laughs> that would be gay. it. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> Uh, he keeps the uh, phone, because I said I'd let, get him to the show and everything, and then everybody said, no, he's crazy. And I said, oh, yeah, right. That's yeah, true. You know? So I didn't. Right. So then, like uh, six months pass, I'm in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I'm walking down the street, and that dude is there. Oh, my God. So we're standing there, and then in L.A., like, there's no pedestrians, so you're all alone. Yeah, I mean, you have just no protection. Yeah. So I'm just standing with this guy, and then... Uh, uh, not only was he crazy. Did he have water with him? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just crazy, but then it turned out like what you're saying. I think he was one of those gay guys. Oh. He looks at me, he's all like, and plus he had shaved his head in the meantime. Oh, right, no. right. And then he goes, he goes, hey, I just want you to know I'd do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he shaved his head. Yeah. Oh. And then we were standing in front, there's this restaurant in, uh, in uh, L.A. called Norm's yeah. Restaurant. Right. So, but you don't have anything to do with it. No, it's just a restaurant. It's a right. famous restaurant. Do you eat there because your name is Norm? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. But it's just near where I live. So right. I'm talking to this guy, and he goes, look behind you. And I look, and there's this big sign, Norm's. Yeah. And so I go, yeah? He goes, Norms, right? Like he thought, you know how crazy guys Right, right. Yeah, they think there's a message. It's all connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I said, no, I just live here. I'm trying to tell him it's like a coincidence. Right. <laughs> so he was seeing messages and coincidences yeah, and coincidence. all kinds of things. Messages. <laughs> I vague. So that's why you don't talk about your family? I, I like to try to protect them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because instead of my notes, you're divorced, but you don't like to talk about it. So that's why he said he was divorced. <laughs> oh, is that why you said you were divorced? Because you don't want I stalkers. Said that anyway. So where do you live now, L.A.? Los Angeles, yeah. So that's good, I guess, because you're you home with your have family. A place now. Here yeah, anymore? I live like two blocks from my son, so I get to see him. All wait a the time. minute. But wait a second. You live two blocks from your son, so you don't live with your, your wife. Your son has a separate no. abode. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. My my son lives with my wife. And, and where, where do you, do you live? live? I live like two blocks away. Why don't you live with your family? What? what? <laughs> who, well, does that? who does that? Are you serious? You really? Oh, is that why people think you're divorced? Yeah, people are always think I'm divorced. But you really are, because you live your own separate life. Yeah, I live my own separate life. What right. do you mean? Do you I date? No, no. He no, dates. No. Are you kidding? Of course. No, I mean, I, I would, but I don't... <laughs> you, don't wanna, you don't want to admit it here. <laughs> no, I don't know that. So I you really are married, married, but you have a separate house because you, you feel... You said to, when did you say to your wife, I don't want to live with you anymore? Have you ever lived together? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we oh, okay. lived together. Yeah. Right. And what happened when you started doing Saturday Night Live... I, I guess in New you. York, and, and that was good. She lived with her, with my son in Los Angeles. And then when you went back to Los Angeles, you said, "You know what? I liked living apart from you." What? I don't think he's together. You know, because nobody says I live two blocks from oh, my no, son. No, I'm not together with my wife. No, you don't. You're not together you're with not your wife. Together. No, I'm not together. With nobody my wife. says I live two blocks from my son he's if they're separate. married. Oh, so you're separated? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you no. are. I'm you're agreeing being with misleading. You. No, oh, so you are separated? Yeah. Oh, you're oh, you're, you're separated. You asked me if I was divorced. I oh, you're no. separated. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, you little devil. So you see your kid a lot. Oh yeah. Because you only live two blocks away. Yeah, because I can't drive, so I got a place like two blocks away. So now is your wife mad when you come over to play with the kid? I mean, because. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys are friends? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, is she, she dating? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so you don't want to know? That's personal stuff. You think she's doing some gay? Wouldn't that be Whoa. weird to know your wife's Whoa. doing a gay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now we're getting the story. Yeah. Oh, so you separated. do date. Have you dated anybody cool out in Hollywood? Al McPherson. No, I don't. I so can you come clean about Al McPherson now? <laughs> what? What? Did you get her? You Al lucky McPherson dog. He is, did. is married, has a young, nice, beautiful young child. So they didn't stop you. Yeah, but she was dating Kevin Costner the other week. Right. right. Oh, right. Lord, really? <laughs> do you ever ask your kid what your wife's up to, like spying her and stuff? What's she doing? What's your mother do? What's she doing? Oh, I see. Oh, you got her. Yeah. You got some nice arrangement. Yeah. Oh. Wow. She lives two blocks away from home. But what about financially? <laughs> do you do you support them, or do you just split up all your money? Yeah, or yeah. Oh, you did. Does she have to fight you for child support? Oh, no, no. I uh, how'd you keep it so quiet? That uh, you, you... Who even knew he was married? I know. I, that's why I could never get to the bottom of it. Now no, I get it. Nobody cares about me. Who cares? <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, it says here in my notes, before we get to your new TV show, because I have a lot of notes about you, and you know I'm a huge fan. I know. I really am. I, I, I love Norm. I, t I told you my favorite bit that you do is about Mr. Fantastic. I think that's the greatest <laughs> single thought I've ever heard from a comedic you mind. Know, the other thing he did for us <laughs> yeah. is that he told us about the uh, the whole album full of retarded kids singing. Yeah. Did we you play get that album? Oh, yeah. We play it all the time. We had a whole retarded <laughs> birthday party here. What are you kidding me? Because of you. <laughs> so you know how brilliant I think you are. So, okay, here's what I got in my notes. Tell me true or false or whatever. Because some of this stuff sounds like maybe you made it up. <laughs> Sometimes I'll make something happen. All right, here, let me go. Okay, first of all, it says here that your, <laughs> your genitals are six inches when you're not aroused, and yet, ironic, not ironically, but then when you get aroused, it's still the same six inches. Oh, yeah, that's true. So you're very well hung. In well, other words, in yeah. other words you if have you, a lot to show. If you were to pull down your pants right now, you would have a lot to show. Yeah, yeah. But what bothers you is you don't get any bigger when you're aroused. Right. So the brides will go, "Holy Lord God! Imagine this dude when he when, his, right. when he gets what it, when he gets aroused." Yeah. Right. <laughs> and that's the same. Uh, oh, he's yeah. Really? Because there's a guy on the phone who said he saw your genitals. What? I don't know. <laughs> what? Is David, that guy with the water. The guy with the water. <laughs> David, did you ever bring Norm water? <laughs> <laughs> David. Hello. I guess Hello. Da David, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're having trouble hearing you. What What do you want to say about Norm's genitals? Norm McDonald is an effing girl. He's got less genitals than Libby Doll. Oh, get out. Uh, how did you see his genitals? I was, at, I was taking an NBC tour. Oh, yeah. is that on the he tour? Was on part of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> they show Eddie Murphy <laughs> Gumby suit. Uh, yeah, you were taking the tour. Yeah, and I ducked into the bathroom and I saw his genitals. How? At the urinal? Yeah, he's even got a tattoo. It says Nancy Sirianni sucks. Oh, oh that's, ridiculous. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Really no, that's a, you really have that on your <laughs> genitals? That's a lot to tell. He must wow. have a big. Well, Norm is very honest. If it wasn't big, he wouldn't say so. Mike, go yeah, ahead. That's not that big. Six it's... inches? Are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm not even a half an you inch. You just pretend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Howard. Yeah. You the man. Thank you. I don't know why you bother with this guy. Why? What? I got a story once. I was in uh, Jake's in the city. Yes. Yeah. So I go to the bathroom. Everything's in the yeah, bathroom. Everything's in the bathroom, yeah, bathroom with Norm. Wow. And you brought Norm some water? What about I, George yeah. Michaels? I wouldn't bring him nothing. I almost handed him a beating. A beating? Why? Why? I come back and he's making with my girl. Ah, uh, did we get in a fight? <laughs> You we like the fist did. fight. I asked you to step outside, but you did, you fag. Uh, that's <laughs> unbelievable. I would fight you. <laughs> Howard, Howard. Yeah. I got another problem. I was wondering if you could help Ah, who cares? All right. Well, we so, is that true? Do you ever, like, try to pick up girls in a restaurant and the boyfriend tries to beat you? No. You, I, you do like to fight. Uh, no, and sometimes in bars in New York, I used to get in fights. And you're afraid to fight in New York because you're afraid everyone carries a gun. Yeah, well... When I first came to New York, I'd get in fights. I don't like to fight, but when I get drunk, I fight, right? Right, and you get drunk a lot. No, not very much, but when I go to bars, I get drunk. <laughs> Isn't it true that once when you were on Saturday Night Live... You got into a fight? You got into a fight with a writer who spilled water on you? Yeah, this guy. He did, I was all smoking, you know, I like You like smoking. to smoke cigarettes. I like smoking cigarettes. Right. S only cigarettes. Not pot. No. Right. So I like smoking cigarettes, and then this one dude, he hated smoking cigarette smokers. Right. So he's always like, hey, man, don't smoke, because secondhand smoke. And I wasn't getting any secondhand smoke, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting first hand. So what are you yeah. worried about? So, I was so you like, said, I'm not going to put it out. Yeah, it would just hide and stuff, and i tell him. It was my fault, because I kept going, yeah, man, I'll quit. <laughs> you know, and then uh, he got all mad, and he had this big spray bottle. One time he got all mad, so he sprayed water on me to try to extinguish a cigarette. Oh man! Did yeah. you beat him up? No, no, I just punched him. But then <laughs> oh! he fell down like in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you know, and you. Where'd you punch him in the face? Yeah. You don't seem like the kind of guy who get in a fight. Yeah. Doesn't that hurt? He's so low key. Yeah. <laughs> and so then he fell down, and then afterwards he goes, he was, he wanted to sue me and stuff, and then he goes. I never got in a fight. Before. I've never been hit in my life because he went. He was like he went to university and stuff. Right? Did you punch him in the nose? I don't know. Just in the face. It was like in a movie where you hit and the guy. See, that's the way real fights go. When when a guy hits another guy, the other guy usually goes down. Right, but usually it's and it's just like that. The guy doesn't say, "Come on, I'm going to hit you." Let's right. go outside and square off. They yeah. just hit you. They just hit you. That's right. All right. Here's what else I know about you. Okay. Well, hey, why do you, I never say I have notes? You're like Johnny Carson. Yeah. No, I got notes. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here's your divorce. Uh -huh. Are you getting a divorce? No. Well, no. he's going to. Why not. are you not getting a divorce? Yeah, I don't understand. If you're separated, how long now? Five years? I don't know. I just, I never got around to it. Really? And she doesn't want a divorce? Um, I'm not Why, she's Mrs. Divorce. Norm MacDonald. Wow. <laughs> this woman doesn't want that. Nobody would want a divorce from Norm. <laughs> Was it a hard divorce? I mean, was it was your wife I, mad at I you? I didn't get divorced. Well, was it a hard separation? Was your wife mad when you separated? No, we we get along. She's a really she's a great lady. Yeah. I don't buy any of this. So, who are you with? I'm not with anybody. I just, you know, I go. Home, I uh, as you, you date? Say. No, I. Well, you, wow. you, you, you you take care of your own problems. <laughs> exactly. Wow, I can't believe that. Uh, for since you left your wife, mm -hmm. you haven't been with a woman. Come on. No. I don't believe that. I don't know. Your brother, oh. your brother is a TV news anchorman. Yeah. Did I know that? It's not that. Interesting. Where is Where? he an anchorman? That is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. No, he's in Jerusalem. He's one of them guys that likes to. In Israel. Yeah. He's a Jewish anchorman? No. Isn't he a McDonald's? He's not Jewish. Oh, okay. So what's he doing? You're in Jewish. Half Jewish. Yeah. Shh. A lot of anti-Semitism. <laughs> Where? Why is he in Jerusalem? He goes there to cover the news. You know. Is he like oh. like a network guy? Only in Canada on the CBC. Oh, that doesn't America. count. Okay. All right, that's nothing. Now, are you? Now, you had an incident on the David Letterman show. What? This is what I heard. You jumped. You 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 like you like stage dove into the audience. No, no, no. Or I was. They had like it was a stupid thing where I was supposed to uh, uh, run. They wanted me to run through this orchestra. They had an orchestra because they had this young. Eight-year-old Chinese guy that could sing or something. Right, I right. Something was going on. Yeah, there's a big orchestra, you know. And then they said, "Hey, just run through there. It'll be funny to get to Dave." So I ran through, and then I fell on this lady that was a flutist. She played the flute. <laughs> you fit, but it was an accident. It was an accident. Right. I broke her finger and, <gasps> and her flute. And oh. then it turned out the flute was like real expensive. Oh. How much? They said it was like the Stradivarius of, fr of flutes. Right. And then I didn't even know what Stradivarius meant. So right. <laughs> and then it turned out that's an expensive violin. Right. So she, right. What the point was, it was a very expensive uh, flute. And then they sued like Letterman for like all this money and tried to sue me. And stuff. Right. But it's over now. Yeah, that's all it's been settled. Oh, it's been settled. So you didn't have to pay anything. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, all right. That's not too weird. All right. Now you've got a new. T you had the movie. I never said I go off notes. Yeah, the movie was great. You I don't usually go it. off notes, but there were some interesting things on there. You didn't see the movie. No, I never saw the movie. Why not? It, because it was in and out of the theater in a week. Well, yeah. Okay. It's How on I gonna, video now. Oh, is it? I'm going to yeah. see it then. Yeah. All right. Don't get all insulted. No, no. Was the movie any good or what, what happened? Movie. It is a great movie? It. Yeah, it's great. All right. You like the movie. I, I, it's a, why wouldn't I like a great movie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you're on the air. Hey, Norm, may I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, buddy. Are you, uh, have you been drinking? Drinking booze? Yeah, your voice sounds like you, you're like drunk or whatever, but uh, I, if uh, not, have you... No, have that's you, Norm's delivery. Yeah, I always... Yeah. Oh, okay. always this is the way he drunk. sounds. That's And that, that's why I think this this woman, Michelle Greppi, reviewed your TV show in the Post today. Did you see it? Yeah, she hated it. She hated it. <laughs> but so, I think that w she's complaining a lot about your delivery, that you're a droll kind of guy, but that's you. That's you. Yeah, what's wrong with her? So if you start to drink, will you start to sound like crackhead Bob? <laughs> oh, please. What, what is this? The New York Times liked me. They did. They got me a good review. So you, But we only read the bad one. We That's don't read the Times. That's a big newspaper. That's a big deal. I, so know, you, I never read the Times either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No Somebody sports. had to tell him about that. So the guy in the New York Times thinks the show's funny. Yeah, he thinks it's funny. All right, is there pressure on you? Because the movie didn't do well, right? The movie did. Uh, it made like a million dollars. It made a million. That's a lot of what money. Did it cost? Wow. Oh, who cares what it costs? Right. Everybody's always into what it costs. Right. How about what it made? How many people you know generate a million dollars in anything? Buy a lot of flutes. It's amazing. Why does Adam Sandler's movies do so well? And and your movie only made a million. I don't understand. Well, Adam Sandler is like the funniest guy in movies. He is? Is yeah. he? Oh, yeah. Do you really think that deep down inside? Oh, absolutely. I thought Waterboy was the funniest movie, I, uh, one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Really? What's the other one? <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know me for real. Like? Billy Madison. Uh, uh, you were in that, weren't you? Yeah. Bill- no, I'm in other funny movies. What's another funny so what's movie? What's the funniest movie of all time? Waterboy? Um, well, it's right up there. I, like, I think, like, Caddyshack, Animal You know, I watched Caddyshack the other night. I went back with yeah. my kids to watch it. Yeah. It was horrible. And, I, and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Watch it again. When's the last time you've seen Caddyshack? Um, I like a year ago. Oh, really? Oh, man. I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah, it just didn't play well. And Rodney's hardly in it. I thought, you know, in my memory, Rodney was the whole picture. Yeah. Well, and all those scenes with Bill Murray as the guy chasing the groundhog the forever really ever and ever. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Oh. It just wasn't funny anymore. Really? Yeah. So Caddyshack, Animal House, and Waterboy. Animal House is funny. Yeah. Movies. Yeah, you got to go see Waterboy. <laughs> You'll love it. It's great. <laughs> Sandler's so funny. Sandler, so you don't like Sandler? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Who do you like? Do you I like, like Jim Carrey. Janine Garofalo? Or something? I like Janine Garofalo. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't like her movie. I like her when she does the stand up. I think it's funny. Yeah. But I also you don't like her, huh? No, 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 no. I like, I like uh, Jim Carrey. I think he's funny. Oh yeah. He's See, funny. that's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Schindler's List? That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was a riot. Oh. So you had this Jew, and you got in trouble. And... What about Roberto Benigni? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You like him, right? No. Oh, you don't like him? No. Is he funny? He's not funny at all. <laughs> well, I've, I've never seen him. I, I never seen I saw him. the movie. Oh, yeah. You Life know that they were ne- now they're going to pull out all his movies. Yeah. You know, I was watching all his Bravo unfunny movies last night, and that Johnny Stachino or whatever. Oh, please. I'm like, oh my god. I saw part of Life is Beautiful. I got tricked because I thought it was, I, I didn't know it was Italian. Right. And I've never seen a foreign movie. Yeah. And uh, but I like him when I see him on shows because right. you can't not like him. He's so uh, retarded. You know? Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> I, I like when he climbed on the chairs at the Academy yeah, Awards. That was, that was cool. funny. That's right. funny. Sophia Loren's funny. Those giant glasses she wears are funny. <laughs> I think that she's. What do you think of Whoopi on the Oscar? I don't think she's funny. Yeah, what do you think of I her? think Whoopi's a good actress. I don't think she's particularly funny. I don't think so either. Right? I, she don't make me laugh. Like, she yeah. came out in that big costume and then didn't do anything. Mm. <laughs> and then she came out and did a long monologue and I didn't understand any of the jokes. You know what I mean? Yeah. She should have borrowed your Mr. Fantastic routine. <laughs> I would have laughed at you that. You should have written for her. Yeah, you should write for her. Are you, you doing uh, Hollywood Squares? Have you done that? You ain't going to do that. You wouldn't do that, would you? I like the old Hollywood Squares, but this one. I did the old Hollywood you Squares. Did? Not, yeah. No, no, not the original. Well, I like did the second John one. David's. Yeah, I did yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 and nobody knew who I was. Yeah. They were booing me. But on this new one, <laughs> yeah, th- sometimes they don't even do jokes. They just answer the question. I know. Yeah. You know, like I saw. Um, they don't bluff. No. Yeah, I know. I saw. Uh, who the hell was the guy yesterday? And you were waiting for him to say something. Fu- oh, Bill Maher. Uh-huh. He is so. He's got such a nasty attitude. <laughs> he's on the Hollywood Squares, and they ask him a question, and he's like, "The answer is blah blah blah." Like he won't make a he's joke. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. isn't he supposed all, to be some right? kind of comedian? What I like is the contestant called him Bill Maher. <laughs> didn't know he was. <laughs> that was really Bill good. Now, that's funny. And then he looked all pissed <laughs> off. You know what I mean? He one thinks he's I, above the moon. One time I went on that show. Uh, he has a show there, Politically, yeah, politically incorrect. incorrect. Yeah, I heard that. So I go on the show, and the guy goes, uh, he goes, uh, like, you, you know, you have to have these uh, arguments. Everybody, every time I did a joke, like, the producer would come out in the, in the thing and go, hey, you don't have to do jokes. Right. <laughs> Great. Yeah, we don't like those jokes. Yeah, you're slowing us so down. So then it's like funny. we're having this epi- uh, argument, right? Mm. And uh, it's about China, right? I don't know anything about China, right? Yeah, right. So the, the dude, there's, there's yeah what they got you on there for, for China? <laughs> there's a dude sitting beside me, right? Who knows everything. Yeah, he wrote a book on China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're That's to not fair. Yes. Yeah, so you're supposed to argue with him? Yes, I'm like, well, let this guy talk. So then all of a sudden, the dude that wrote the book on China is having an argument with his broad from uh, the show Sister, Sister, oh. right, an actress, oh. about China, right, 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 which she knows nothing about, right. and, then I'll, and then she goes, well, that's your opinion. To the guy, right, right, wrote a book. Yeah, that's right. It is everybody's opinion. It's everyone's opinion. Equal. <laughs> so you were probably completely floored by this program that Bill Maher has. You want to talk about China? Uh, yeah, you're a comedian. I was just trying to do jokes. Is it true you watch football every Sunday with the head of CBS, Les Moonves? <laughs> is that is true? Is it true? I have to, yeah, I go a few times. Yeah, you do. You really? Yeah, you, you go to his house? He's a good guy. No, we go to this guy Sam Simon's house. Guy. I know Sam. Yeah. yeah, he's a good man. Oh, you guys. Oh, that's what you guys. Do. I got to move out to LA. Yeah, and be with Sam Simon. Yeah. Sam Simon's the key to everything. He knows everybody. He's the guy who developed The Simpsons. Yeah. And this guy's like retired, and all he does is think of ways to make himself he, busy. He likes hang, right. hangs out. And he networks. Yeah, he travels <laughs> with people. He bangs chicks. 
He uh, networks? Yeah. So who is it? You, Sam Simon, and Les Moonves? Drew yeah, Carey. Drew Carey. How do you guys know? Drew everybody? has that? <laughs> Drew's there, too? Well, Drew's Sam Simon's friend, right? Right. right. But Drew and Sam, they go off and do, uh, like, they're into, like, they go to the Playboy Mansion and stuff like that. Yeah, right. But on Sunday, you know, I watch football and Les Moonves comes over and we play a little cards. And oh, do you play cards? Yeah, we play a little low stake poker. You know? Oh, I'd like that. You like to play cards? No, I like to meet Hollywood people. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I want to meet some. I want to have some friends. <laughs> oh, man. Sam Simon's the center of Hollywood. There you go. Got to know Sam. Hey, who's here with you, Artie? Yeah, well... Why don't you bring him in? I wanted to bring him in. Get you could come in. Artie, I we love. Hey, and also, bring in Artie and bring in those two chicks. These girls have been waiting outside. They're huge fans of yours. The girls, the, the queen for the day? No, 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 no. Some fat chicks. Oh! Oh! <laughs> They're like you. Hey, hey, is Artie. this the fat chick or Artie? Oh, that's Artie. Oh. I thought it was the fat chick. I'm sorry. It's Artie who's a huge fan. Data, Artie, don't you have some water for Norm? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are you working on the new TV show? Some Norm show? Yeah. Uh, he no. wouldn't do it. He screwed me. What do you mean? No, I, I would certainly do Norm show if he asked me. He never asked me to do it. Oh, oh man! All right, here's two chicks who are big Norm Macdonald fans. Oh, oh they sure are. Oh, they call, they've been calling oh. all week. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh! Look what you drag out. No wonder oh. he got separated. Huh? <laughs> they're not fat girls. Well, they're, they're, they're not, not fat, fat man. I thought you get some. You girls, you girls look like uh, housewives, are you? <laughs> no, no, they're way too young. Girls, for talk to me. Tell me about yourselves. What's your names? I'm Laura. And what is your name, honey? I'm Lou. And how old are you girls? 26. And how old are you, Lou? 25. 25 years old, huh? Oh, young chicks. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> one for each of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just found out that Norm is separated. Norm is single. We heard that. Right. When you say you're huge fans, I mean, you called as early as 6 o'clock this morning yeah. trying to get down we here. We came into the city uh, really? at 6 o'clock this morning. Where are you from? Uh, that's sweet. From Jersey. From Jersey. And why are you such Norm McDonald fans? What makes him so great? Look at him. Look at him? <laughs> you mean you're sexually attracted? You mean physically he's, he's uh, good? Well, he's funny. What are you, Jewish girls? I'm not. I am. You are a Jewish girl? Yeah. yeah you look like you're a rabbi's daughter. Are you All a rabbi's right. daughter? <laughs> <laughs> You look like you're one of the top Jews. No, are you a rabbi's daughter? No, I'm not. You are not. Okay. Reformed. I see. Mm -hmm. And girls, uh, who is the biggest Norm fan here? Laura is. Laura. Oh, yeah? Would you have sex with Norm if he asked you to? She would. She would. She totally would. Would you, Laura? Uh, I don't know. Would you have sex with me to get to Norm? That's a more important question. Yeah, I mean, come on. Because that means you'd be the biggest fan ever. See, Norm's smart. He travels around with Artie. Norm looks good sitting next to Artie. So that's that's my theory. Oh, yeah, come on. I'm just kidding with you. I'm on a diet. You put on a few pounds, bro. No, he's on a diet. I stopped doing the blazine. I know. Are you off drugs completely? Oh, yeah. You are? Yeah. Oh, so I see. Are you antidepressants count as drugs? <laughs> You're on something, though, right? Think? Lithium. Are you really on lithium? I was on lithium. Who put you on that? Who put you on that? doctor put me on lithium once yeah and it was bad because i was doing this show mad tv and i was taking lithium right and i had to remember all these lines and i felt <laughs> crazy on lithium <laughs> yes. but i knew i was crazy right like i felt like you I was felt gonna, crazy and you, you knew you were crazy. Right. like crazy. I, I went to the doctor and i said <laughs> yeah. you know i'm feeling like kind of like dennis hopper ish you know? <laughs> like i might want to blow myself up <laughs> and i said why don't i just do coke because i felt better on coke right at least you weren't so crazy but lithium's legal right so i had to stop doing that so you're off lithium now and you're, you're off everything. You're drug free. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Right. Yeah. I'm like America, drug free. Well, what are you doing now to make some money? How come you don't do Norm Show? Why don't you write for that? What, you no, listen, in the let movie? me tell you something. Oh, right. I, 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 I wanted him to do the show from the, up, up, from the outset. To be one of the goofy neighbors or yeah, something? Exactly. Right, right. <laughs> Guys, who talk through a fence. There's a lot of money in that. Yeah, you're damn right. Why wouldn't you do it? Like 30 grand a week. Any of you girls want to sit on Norm's lap? He said, <laughs> are she going to make a bad joke if I say yes? No, I don't say anything. He Go said ahead. he would do the show. Yeah. And then he, uh, he at the last second, said, uh, oh, I want to do this movie with Chris O'Donnell instead. What movie is that? No, I'm Chris not... O'Donnell. <laughs> it's going to be a big movie. What is it? It's called The Bachelor, and it's, uh, it's coming gonna out in big. September. <laughs> it's going to be in and out of the theater in a week. Oh, you should have <laughs> called my agents. And... <laughs> oh, come on. The last movie you said that about was Dirty Work. Exactly. <laughs> what happened with Dirty Work? So it made a million dollars. It made ten million dollars. Did it really? Yeah. Ten million dollars. That's what is a it? lot of money. That is a lot of money. But you don't talk about how much it costs to make. I don't know. Twenty. You know what's amazing? Every time they make one of them movies, like for like fifty million, I always wonder, like, why don't they just keep the fifty million? <laughs> yeah. Why would you? <laughs> why would you bother? Why bother? To make a movie? <laughs> you have fifty million dollars. Just hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, why would you risk all that? You know, you're right.
<laughs> well, that, hey, you guys ever see Dirty Work? Did you go see the Norm Macdonald movie? <laughs> you didn't see it? How You're the biggest Norm Macdonald fan. Even your fans, <laughs> 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 your fans didn't go see it. <laughs> These are the two biggest fans. How do you explain that? They didn't see Girls, how do you explain not going to see Norm's movie? I bet they didn't even know it was in the theater. I did know about it. I, what? Oh. You had no interest in it? <laughs> but you love him. What, what happened? What, what was the thought process? Bring us into that, because Norm can learn from that. Yeah. I don't know. I just never... And I don't go to movies. You heard it sucked, much. right? No. 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 <laughs> who could, you, who could have more, possibly think, told I you it sucked? I think we might have been... <laughs> <laughs> Where could you have read that it sucked? I think, <laughs> I think we might have been afraid... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gave it a great review. Oh. That's the most astonishing I heard you got heard a, I heard you got something like an incredible, like a D plus in Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got no, they gave us like a C minus. Oh, so that's not bad. Yeah. You know, who not... Godfather got a C? <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> yeah. so. No, really. What happened that you uh, Norm McDonald fans wouldn't go see his movie? Well, I think it was that we heard it sucked and we didn't want to be oh. disappointed oh. Right. in him sucking. Well, that's smart. Liked it so much. Oh. So you just that's are you ex good. excited about the TV show? Oh yeah, we have a VCR set up for. Tonight we're gonna take. Well, should I say why we're gonna tape? <laughs> when is the show tonight? I'm worried that they won't be on very long, so oh, we're gonna oh, save it for show. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, these guys, these guys work here. They're not fans. No, no, fans. but we love Norm. I mean, but that's the thing is he, people don't appreciate him. So, so you're gonna tape it in case it's only on for like a week. Right. You can watch that tape. I mean, you're not afraid they're gonna cancel in the middle of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you're afraid it's only gonna be on for 15. Marty, minutes. is that possible that you can cancel a show in the middle Close of the show? Goes to a test pattern. <laughs> <laughs> At 15 minutes into it, they're going to put the Drew Carey dance party on. Right. Wow, would you imagine that? Imagine they cancel your show in the middle of the show. They determine that nobody's watching. <laughs> Jamie Tarsus comes on and goes, this isn't going well. <laughs> Did you meet Jamie Tarsus ahead of ABC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pretty, right? She, yeah, very attractive. Uh, Did you hit on her? Girl. Oh, no, no, no. She goes out with Morty, doesn't she? No, that's over. Nah, that's over. She goes out with that, that young guy? kid from two pizza places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two guys, pizza, two guys, two in, a guys pizza. in a pizza parlor. Right. <laughs> Girls, how did you protest Saturday Night Live when they dropped Norm? Did you do anything? Did you write letters? or um, no. 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 They we... just kept watching. <laughs> 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 they kept taping it. They don't watch it at all. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's yeah. great. I didn't know he was you never watch watching. Saturday Night Live? You didn't no, see the movie? No, we saw, what's his name that took over? And we spit at the TV yesterday on the Colin, Colin Quinn. Quinn. Colin Quinn. Yeah. yeah. So, so you didn't watch Norm when he was on Saturday Night Live? We or you spit did? Absolutely. You did. Because he was brilliant on that. Yeah, always yeah, watched it when you were on. Uh, oh. sweet. And they spit that's at the nice. TV. You spit right. at the TV? At Glenn. All right, so but do you want to... like a sexual thing, isn't it? Do you want to say something someone. Do you want to say something to Norm now that you're in front of him? I mean, why don't you get out your whatever it is because you're his biggest fans? Yeah. Got any what? Do you want to say anything? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, I can't keep you in here all day and you're here now. Go ahead, say what you want to say. I just think you're great. Uh, well, that's sweet. That was sweet of you to... to is come. Norm the only one you're in, in, into or you have other celebrities you, you like? Well, I guess everybody has. Everybody. Yeah. You like everybody. <laughs> Any celebrity. <laughs> and if Norm's not available, you take Artie, that's all. Oh. No, I think you're more my league. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, Norm, Norm, does, Norm went with Al McPherson. Oh, no, I didn't. No. No. All right, so anyway. <laughs> no, seriously, girls, is anything else do you want to say to Norm? I, I just want to tell Norm that I... I think he's really talented. Oh, give him a kiss. Aww. Give him a kiss. Can we? Uh, yeah, yes, give, give him a kiss. You can feel really? free. Yeah. Norm, is that all right if the girls kiss you? Yeah, <laughs> Great. Watch your step on the thing. Uh, Normal. You have to sue Norm. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice. on the cheek. <laughs> what about a little tongue, Norm? You're single. <laughs> come on, Norm. You're separated. Uh, tongue on your cheek? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Mm. Oh. 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. That girls, you want to show them your breasts or anything? Um, no? Now that we got in here. Really All right. Thank you, girls. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you're much. sweet, girls. Yeah, sweet Thanks girls. Big Norm McDonald fans. They're there they go. fans, Norm. Uh, All dressed up for you, too. They don't go to see your movies, but they're <laughs> I like that. I like that they're big fans and they won't even go see your movie. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to be just... Did you just slip them your room key? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I thought something was on Norm's lip, but it's lipstick. Oh, oh okay, good. All right. Oh, lipstick from the lips. Yeah, right. <laughs> it did. I said, uh oh, something's wrong with Norm. Norm's sick. Norm's sick. <laughs> so you guys got to meet him. Oh, that was so cool. What was the kiss like? I got, I got a kiss like I did the half kiss. I did. Uh, what do you mean I, the half kiss? Like, I got the lips. Like, I did. right here. But you didn't answer the lips. I didn't. I, I was, was a little more modest. <laughs>
<laughs> so was he everything that you expected? Yeah, and more. He was gracious. He's he was wonderful. Really great. Yeah, it was great. We had a really good time. You're glad you got to meet him. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, yeah. you guys, so much. Yeah, you guys are great. Thanks. It's totally uh, worth it. Yes. All right, guys, take care. All right, thank you. Thank you. This is a big night for you. This is your coming out party. And it's uh, do you want this to be a big hit? Would you like like a series that lasted five years? Do you want to be like oh, Seinfeld yeah. or something? Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, get, if it, it went on long enough to get into syndication, then I make a huge amount of money. Are you a wealthy man? And then I could quit showbiz. You're not wealthy from Saturday Night Live, are you? No, I'm not wealthy. So a lot of people probably think you're wealthy, and you're not. No, no, no. no. Although you have two houses. Yeah. I don't you have. Know. That's right. He's no, got to no. have two. You got your wife's house, and you I got your in, house. I live in an apartment. Oh, you do. Is it very tiny? I'm pretty small. Yeah. You got the bachelor pad, huh? So a girls, when, when you meet celebrities and stuff and these chicks, and they go over to your apartment, they must be pretty disappointed. They, they think you're, they're going home with a big star. It's a nice apartment. What do you think? Is it? It's like in Beverly Hills. It's oh, really? Yeah. He's that well off? No. Nah. Oh, no. I didn't realize that. <laughs> it's a it's with a walking Is it decorated? This. Yeah, I'm Joe Namath. It's a uh, regular apartment. Is it, uh, Artie, is it decorated? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's got a TV and everything. It's got the blackout shades and all that. Does it have blackout shades? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like the light. Uh, and he makes it seem like he's there alone. But he gets girls, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen me with a girl? Uh. Well, Norm, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I mean, you know, like kissing a girl. You mean? Yeah. Uh, no. But what about on a date? Have you ever see, have you ever heard of me going out on a date with a girl? No, Norm. Why, Norm, you say this like you're proud. But, but no, but Norm not. doesn't date. It's like a real cool thing. He says he never dates. Yeah. I don't go out with girls. You're like asexual. I'm not asexual. I'm just. I, I you're not going to smoke, are you? Homosexual is the word you're looking for. Why would you say that? No, I'm are you homosexual? Oh, no. Of course I'm not. But now that it, my friend said it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe That's it. That's his joke on national radio. He calls me homosexual. It's <laughs> a funny joke. Well, you call me fat. You're, well. you're a fat <laughs> fag. <if you're> right. <laughs> are you excited about tonight? That you're. Are you going to watch your TV show tonight? Fat. What? Are you going to watch your TV show? No, tonight? I already saw it. You saw it. Yeah. So you're not even going to watch it. Fact, and, and, <laughs> so, no, isn't it no, something exciting Neil, about it on TV? Isn't it exciting to see it in the context of television, that of sharing the experience with with the global village? Yeah, no, yeah, not to me. Because will your wife spit at the screen? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Artie, will you watch it? Uh, no, I, I have a meeting tonight. I can't watch. <laughs> <laughs> and you have well, a great time slot. We're, we're having a big premiere party if you want to come. You're after um, Drew Carey show. Now that's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's that's a great good. lead-in. You no, can't ask for a better place. That You're a not going to be show. like Ellen and say that wasn't good for you. Yeah, Ellen says <laughs> ABC didn't put my show. In the right environment. <laughs> the only environment that show would have been right in was Moon, <laughs> if they had television. I mean, there's, there's no right environment hey, look, for... You know what I find interesting? Do you remember, uh, like, a few months ago when Ellen and Ann Haish retired from yes. showbiz? Yeah, why are they, they back? at the Oscar. At the Oscar, she was just in Ed TV. <laughs> um, uh, this, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Ellen, you, well, you go to the movies, she's in every trailer. Right, she's like in eight right. movies. And, yeah, and Ann Haish was just in Psycho, and she just was... So what happened? This is some retirement. This is a great They're retirement. Ridiculous. <laughs> Artie has any, Artie's in retirement compared to them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I'm considering retiring. All right, so what happened? You asked Artie to be on your TV show, and he refused. He, he I didn't no. refuse. I just I couldn't do it because of another commitment. That's what happened. Oh. Okay. Well, that sounds weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know. It sounded yeah, weird too. to me, too. But Are you trying to have a film career? Is that it? And you don't want to be on TV? Well, no, my eight, no I want to be on TV. I want to make money. <laughs> what is it, Baba Bowie? I thought I'd, know, I th I thought I'd throw Norm some good news because he's a good guy. In yeah. uh, USA Today, he gets three stars. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, good, because... Is that for Dirty Graphics, Work? It says, Norm, a comic public service. Good. Now, is that three stars combined with all the newspapers? <laughs> or is that the actual three stars? <laughs> I just want to know. Monkey boy, horse-tooth creature from the jungle, monkey boy. So, uh, yeah, Michelle Greppi gave it one star. But so what does she know? I mean, she's just one person, right, Norm? She's an idiot. She was... <laughs> what? She Why? She's the brat that didn't like me at the ESPYs, where I was great. We were brilliant there. Yeah. yeah. But let me tell you something, man. I actually, one time I went on Star Search, they gave me three quarters of a star. <laughs> Is that right? What did you do on Star Search? Do you remember? Uh, I went on, it was International Star Search. It was like a special Wow. One. It was just a one I didn't show. realize you were on International oh, Star Search. Three quarters. That means somebody gave you a zero. <laughs> what? Yeah, that means you got zero stars from no, somebody. Yeah, no, right. no. Three, uh, yeah, three, ones, three and ones and a zero. I've, exactly. never, I've never heard of somebody scoring that long. I think it was Jackie Robin Leach. Really? 
<laughs> yeah, I think it was Robin Leach gave me the zero. Yeah. What what happened? What did you do? You must have done something quirky. Spit out. <laughs> no, I suck. I, I, you have two minutes. You know? Right. That's hard for you. You like to do a whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So I figured out this two-minute thing to do, and then... I, what did you do? Do you remember? Uh, I, no, I, I hardly remember. It was for the audience was all <laughs> it was all international people. Maybe they didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, it was all. <laughs> and then after it's horrible. Like you go upstairs, <laughs> and all the winners are at one side, hmm. and then all the losers. So you're there with like the losing Nicaraguan junior dancer. <laughs> right. <laughs> so who, who, what and comedian you, won? Yeah, who was the comedian? Oh, this dude from uh, this was the problem. It was supposed to be international, so right. I was representing Canada. Yes. And the other guy was from uh, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so he had like a tribal, like a hat. Did he have plates in his lips and everything? Was he, well, he, was, he had robes and then he goes, his jokes were like, in my country, uh, you know, uh, I'd have to get my dinner with a spear. Like, <laughs> and then later, I, I like to eat out zebra. Was, it was from Seattle. Oh, <laughs> see, that's not right. Oh, uh, so no wonder you lost. He was disqualified then. <laughs> so you <laughs> won. <laughs> yeah. So like, And then he, didn't he do a ventriloquist act and his dummy was a crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. The big news today is that we're all happy because Norm, Norm McDonald has a, TV show. has a TV show. That's right. A lot of people thought he couldn't get one. Norm McDonald. Everybody thought he'd be, That's big news. He'd be lost after Saturday Night Live. Right. But here he is. The Norm Show. And you uh, is your character named Norm on the show? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Like what the Big Van Dyke show, where his name well, was Rob. Rob, Rob. Yeah. Right. Why did you not take a different name on the Norm Show? <laughs> <laughs> really? I always have problems uh, uh, with when it's I'm a different name. I have real like hard. It's hard for me to answer to another name. So you have to be Norm everywhere. Yeah. Is it because if they give you? What about in your movie? When I did his, the movie with him, my name was Mitch. Right. And many right. times, I mean, I sound retarded. Right. He would say, uh, "What's going on, Mitch?" And I just, I'm not Mitch. Right. Well, they they <laughs> some, cause I'd say Mitch, and Norm wouldn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it was constantly that. Right. Race film. Bob Saget would get angry. The great director. Right. <laughs> You're angry with Bob Saget. I love Bob No, Saget. you're mad no. at the way he directed the movie. Not at all. No, come on. You said you're a great director sarcastically. <laughs> no, he's not. He wasn't a great director. He's not a great director. But he was so much fun. I'm Why are you mad at Bob Saget? Let us in on that controversy. On. He directed. Am I mad at Bob Saget? He directed. No, we, we I like love Saget. Bob Saget. Because we, get, we just abuse him constantly. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best director because you don't have to listen to him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, would, like, you know how in a film they say, check the gate? Like, the director will say, right. check the yeah, gate. At the end of every scene, they say, check the so gate. So what happened? During the movie, right? right. <laughs> After a take, me or Artie would go check the game. Right? <laughs> I got to, and, and, and then people would start like moving everything around, and then Bob yeah. Saget. Would <laughs> Get old. I got to confess, during my movie, I used to scream out, check the gate, because you, you just want to get done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, but you had more power than we had on the movie set. Well, Saget wanted to, you know. <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember when Saget would whisper in our ear right before the scene? What would he whisper? He'd, like, come up, like, right before your scene, and all you're trying to do is memorize these lines, you know, trying to remember them. <laughs> and he'd come up right before, and he'd, go, he'd whisper in my ear, and he'd go, uh, you're no good, you suck, I hate you. <laughs> and i go, what? What are you talking about? And he'd go, oh, nothing. And then later he told me, like, that's his stupid, like, something he read in a book. Like, he was supposed to make me angry. Oh, right, because it was an angry scene. Angus. 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 He would whisper, like, you have a nice ass. <laughs> and what would that do? That. Like your tits. Oh, really? Yeah, he was always saying that to him. So his way of directing... saying he liked my tits. Well, I don't know if you can say that here. Oh, I'm sorry. Like your breasts. Faggot can say Like that. my breasts. Breasts. <laughs> You bring the guy on national radio. He's, he's an embarrassment. He thinks he's like a sports bar in Jersey. Right, right. Quite right. frankly, right. 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 he's become an embarrassment. That's it. So, so uh, this is exciting now because your new director on your TV show doesn't whisper things to you. Right, right, right. Who is your director? My dr Sam Simons directs a lot of them. Oh, oh Sam Simon. Yeah, yeah. Your card that's buddy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So he's a good man. He came out of retirement for you. Oh, I like yeah. that. No, oh, that's good. What is it, Paul? You're on with Norm McDonald. Oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Steven, you're on with Norm McDonald. Yeah, Howard. Yeah. What did Nancy Sirianni put in that turkey sandwich that caused you to put her on your show? <laughs> okay. I, Howard. Oh, please. This is ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was a big Norm fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to the Norm show. I'm going to watch it. 
<laughs> you know who's great on the show is Lori Metcalf. You know yeah, her? Oh, yeah, and what show was she on? Roseanne. Roseanne. She used to be on Roseanne. Yeah. Now, didn't you write for the Roseanne show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And weren't you the favorite writer? That other writers had to submit things to you? No, no, no. But, you know, it was sort of... What happened was... Uh, Everything you wrote, Roseanne loved. Yeah, Roseanne doesn't like Hollywood writers. She right, hates their right, guts. Right. And she just likes stand-ups right. that she likes. So right. she hired me on, and then she would always... I often go, why don't you just let Norm write? I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I have no idea, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how to write a sitcom. Right. But she, you know, she was just, uh, she thought I was real funny. So is that where you met Lori Mick? Is that why you recommended her for the Norm show? Yeah, because I think she's the funniest uh, girl on uh, TV. Right. You ever see her? Yeah. You like yeah. her? Yeah, she's funny. Oh, she's hysterical. Ever bang Roseanne? <laughs> did you? Not answer. You didn't. You did, didn't you? Did. Oh, Artie that's did. sick. <laughs> Artie, would you bang Roseanne? What are you doing for girls? You you, you getting a girlfriend? Well, it used to, it used to be Coke. Artie, right. now, it's, now it's lithium. <laughs> you don't even have a girlfriend? Artie got one of the girls in The Bachelor that stand in a room. <laughs> Did you? We should move on. The extra? Oh. An extra? He was an extra. Did you me. meet someone on the set of uh, The Bachelor? He me every day for The Bachelor. He goes, I'm getting me some... He's, uh, he's kind of crude. He goes, I'm getting me some extra ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Never, so never in my life did I ever say that. Oh, sure. White girl? <laughs> well, the, the, this movie has a thousand brides in the scene. Was right. it a white girl? So it's all a th oh, no, yeah, they're all white chicks. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, uh, so there's a thousand brides, there's a thousand extras <laughs> right. who are all chicks right. who all need, like, SAG cards. And meanwhile, you're in the movie, so that's <laughs> right. a big deal. I mean, if you can't get laid there, what right. are you doing? Yeah. So you got some extra ass? I got some extra ass. Right. <laughs> Artie has extra ass to go around for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I already told me he doesn't get a lot of repeat business. <laughs> I'm, good at, I'm good at getting women, but... Uh, getting to come back is tough, huh? Right, but I don't care about that. All right, here's Dave. Dave, go ahead. What's up? Hello, Howard. Yes, please. I want to tell you, Norm is the most sweetest, gentlest man on the face of the earth. Is that right? What do you, what do you know about it? I had a two-year tour de affair with him. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> he likes... He likes, we called him the Jello Kid. You asked him about it. <laughs> oh, is this Phil? No, it's Davey. You were Phil, if you know what I mean. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Did you have some sort of experience with this guy, or is this a... The only thing that ever happened to me with a gay dude was... Uh, <laughs> All right, let, let's hear it. <laughs> One time I, I got on an air, airplane, you know, when I first started Saturday Night Live, and... Uh, and uh, You were real horny. The gay dude did what? <laughs> So, uh, uh, it was a gay guy, a real nice gay Sitting guy. Sitting next to you on the plane. No, he was a... a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Okay, go ahead. So he I've said, never seen that before. He bump, you know, oh, sometimes they'll weird. bump you up? Yes. So he put me in first class, which is nice. Oh. It was a red eye, you know, at night. Okay, so, lights are out. Exactly. Oh. So he Bumps puts, you up. He puts me and bumps me up. All right. So I'm yeah. in the seat, and everybody goes to sleep. I can't sleep on planes, cool. right? So he starts talking to me, but he's real close to me, because they're trying to be quiet. Right. So I'm real close to this gay guy <laughs> talking, you know, and <laughs> and I didn't want to say the blanket, guy. Yeah. I didn't want to say the guy I'm not gay. Right. Because you know when you're with a girl sometimes and she's oh by the way I have a boyfriend that she slips it in. Right. And it's like awkward. And this you don't even you don't know the rules to this. Yeah. yeah this is a new rule. You have a wife. This yeah, is yeah, a you know wife. Like I'm a wife limited. you don't live with. <laughs> it's just that weird thing. You don't know if the guy's hitting on you, so you don't want to be presumptuous. You know? Yes. And I always tend to go the other way, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I feel so bad about uh, how I, f you know, about uh, how, you know. What? So, well, you, 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 wanna, you, you don't, don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean. Right. So I go the other way. I, pre I pretend like I'm super accepting of Right, and you, pre you pretend like you're oh. gay, in a sense. Oh. Yeah. Like, you, like you want to seem liberal and right. like, hey, you know what? I have no problem with your sexuality. Howard. I have no problem with mine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So what happened? <laughs> how far are you going to do I got AIDS. Is what happened? <laughs> Did you kiss the guy when he leaned in? No. No, 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 no. But I, I gave him the thing to my, I gave him, I said, hey, man, you want to come see the show and stuff like that? And he goes, yeah. And then he'd phone me and I'd go, yeah, come see the show. And then thank God he showed up with his emaciated gay lover. Oh, right. Oh, I was, that's oh, how he got me. God. That's how he got you. He said, you want to see the show? And he was very accepting, if you know what I mean. Right. Uh, that's the worst gay Oh, that's ridiculous. Paul, one last, one last statement for Norm MacDonald. And I, uh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah, Norm, uh, Howard, you should definitely play poker in that game you invited you to. Norm used to lose so much money <laughs> really? in the New York poker underground. Oh, my God, did I ever. Do you have a gambling you have a, You said you had a gambling uh, man, problem. Man, I just lost last night like $3,900. So you go oh, back Jesus. Jesus. You lost 3900 Oh, my God, I'd always lose every day. Love what do you do? You play hour. poker? I would love to play poker. Yeah, and he plays poker with these card sharks. Yeah, What's a all, poker game? How long are you in town for? poker players. But oh, they you see to, him coming. You, you walk into that place and they get crazy. Can I tell you crazy. something? I went to Atlantic No, not Atlantic City. You know City. What the funny part is? Where do they have... I, I went to... Oh, I know. I went to Tahoe. Yeah, yeah. And then when you go to Tahoe, you can play poker at a table and they have a professional dealer. Yeah. I sat down for five minutes. They cleaned me out of a couple hundred bucks <laughs> in five minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they... they it's like they could see my hand. They oh, wait yeah. for you. Howard. Oh, yeah, the guy... And I'm not that good. Well, the it, guys at the club in New York used to just wait for Norm to walk in. Oh, and oh, like, uh, right, like, they say it's their like, duty to take his money. Yeah, that's so Norm, happy. why would you play that's me so, so bad? I just like gambling. Do you like to play blackjack? <laughs> you know like what the losing. funny thing is? When right. I play poker with them, the funny thing is, they pr they'll they pretend like I'm good. Right. Like I'm retarded or something. <laughs> right. So they're like, hey, good good play. And I'm like, good, you know, I know I suck. I know you guys are way like, better. Like, what happens to you? What is like, 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 how did you lose? Like, do you get a, at least a good hand? Now, this is the thing. When you play poker, right, the, the best way to play is just to constantly fold your hand. Right. But I don't, I don't do that. I want to play poker. Do you bluff? Is that the problem? Yeah, and you, these guys are pros. Yeah. These, yeah, you the, can't bluff these guys. Yeah. Right. You can't They're bluff. Pros. All you do, all the good players, they never play. They just constantly fold. They play like one in every 50 hands. Yeah, right. I don't Norm do has a crap system. That's right. what he makes money. Craps. Oh, you play craps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're a real big gambler. I just like gambling. Yeah, I don't yeah. care about winning. How much money do you lose a year, would you say? <laughs> Uh, it's fun just to it. Is it gambling if you always lose? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure I mean, thing. Are you supposed to win occasionally? Do you ever see, win? See, card players, poker players, they're not gamblers. They're like, that's their job. They just right. take people's money. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've played with the professionals once, and I tell you, it's a humiliating yeah. experience. Well, no, yeah. Norma, yeah, Norma has a need for, like, the action. Like, it's too boring if you win. Like, one time he called me from Vegas, like, 4 in the morning. Right. And he sounded bad. Right. And he said, what's the matter? He goes, I just won $60,000 playing craps. Right. And I said, what's the matter? <laughs> Matter is, he's lying. He said, I lost 80000 on college basketball. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can you lose as much as 80000 on college basketball, Norm? Jeez. Let me tell you a little Norm story. <laughs> yeah. Artie, my friend. Yeah. Who reveals everything. Introduces me to a bookie, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Last year. Right. And uh, <laughs> so I win from this bookie in a period of two weeks almost $100,000. Nice. The bookie disappeared. <laughs> Oh. Without pain. Artie's friend. Yeah. Oh my God. It's it's. it's uh, where is the guy now? Do we know? I I think I already know. I don't know where he is. I haven't talked money. to him. In a while. That's I mean that's not something. What recourse do you have? That's you not see, something we should what, discuss. You have no recourse. They go. Hey, why don't you break his and, legs? Go, yeah. How the hell am I going to break a guy's legs? <laughs> yeah, right. Won't they uh, arrest me? See, that's the problem. And if you lost, they would have been right there breaking your leg. Right. But oh, for crying out loud. That's terrible. But I got screwed, too. Yeah. How much did you lose? I lost I lost on this one basketball game. They right. have this, this bet you call a lightning bet. What is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know the under-over in games? Right, sure. Like, uh, so in a basketball game, uh, Utah was playing Chicago. Right. And the under-over in this game was like 180, which is the total score for right. each team. Right. So I lightninged $200 a point, the over, which means every point it goes over, you win 200, 200 bucks. 200 bucks, right. Every point it goes under, you lose 220. Okay. Because you lose the VIG, too. You know? Right, I hear you. So I bet I lightning the over 200 a point yeah. <laughs> on the lowest score. Scoring basketball game in the history of the NBA. Oh my God! <laughs> it was when Utah played. How much chicken. did you lose? On one game, I lost eighty-two hundred bucks. Wow! And that's like bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't have a lot of money. No, yeah, I, uh, he doesn't have a lot of money. He's got money. He's got much more money than me. Really? How does he have all that money? Because he he signs these deals where he uh, doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> They're called, they're called holding deals. Oh really? You know those things? Yeah. Like, yeah, so you, you you have a project. And you hold him. Yeah. You never do the project. Right. But you have him signed. Right. So he signed out NBC, gave him like a half a million dollars for nothing. That's really? Not, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you couldn't do the TV show because you had an NBC holding deal. Right. Well, now, because I have an NBC holding deal. You just deal. don't want to do Norm's show. I, I would love to do this show. <laughs> don't you see this clever repartee? I don't know. <laughs> it's this very confusing be, to this me. This be number one. All right. I can't believe it. Jeez. Well, anyway, These listen. These are the guys to hang out with. Did I not yeah. pay you the $8,200, though? <laughs> yeah, you did. I paid Norm for the guy. 
You did? Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm a, I'm a man of my word. These two guys are so good on the air together because they out each other I and everything. Know. <laughs> Good friends. I love it. Well, Norm, you know, I, I don't see what I did so wrong with the crabs thing. I mean, that's like nothing. Oh, that, okay. Forget yeah, it. Norm looks upset. Because <laughs> then they fight. Yeah. Will Norm not talk to you now for a while? No, I love no, him. fight him. No, nah, he's, he's a good guy. All right. the best. I'm going to try to get him on the show. <laughs> but he's got a holding deal. Yeah, but he gets really... How many shows that. have you taped this so far? This the thing. If he doesn't do anything for NBC, right? Right. <clears throat> then he's freed up. He can come and do my show. Uh, uh, so if he just doesn't do anything for NBC, he still gets paid. He can come do my show. Yeah. But he, now he's saying, oh, maybe I'll do something for NBC. Well, I mean, they have, there's a couple of problems. What do you think he's there? trying to tell you? <laughs> that he doesn't like the show? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I went to the taping last week. It's funny as hell. What, uh, it's really good. What, uh, and what is the story? You, how many of the shows do you have in the can, as they say? The can? <laughs> yeah. How many have you completed? Uh, we, we're doing ten, so we got seven in the can. Right. And what do you do? You do it in front of a live audience? Huh? Do you do it in front of a live audience? Yeah, yeah. this is the hell part of it. You yeah, isn't there a lot of pressure to memorize the whole script? Yeah, it's hard to memorize, but the it's worst like part is they do show. the scenes twice. So the first time you do the scene, the audience listens to it. And laughs. Then you have to do the exact same scene the second time. And they're bored. The same audience. But they laugh like idiots anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because they, because they have these warm-up guys that tell them right. to laugh. Right. But... So I just changed all my lines because I feel like a jackass saying the <laughs> Right, you're a guy who likes to be spontaneous. I don't like saying the same thing twice. twice? No. Norm, this is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other actors are looking at him like, I don't know what to say. Right. Oh, that's unbelievable. Well, that crowd Friday night was really good. What is it, Doug? Quickly, I, got, I really have to end this. Yes, go ahead. I'd rather smell Sonny Bono's dead carcass than listen to Nancy Simriani's music on what your is, show. You know, this guy's what is it, over and on. over and over again and getting on John, so he can make doing? these Sirianni references. <laughs> I hate Nancy Sirianni. This She's is same, horrible. This is same, guy was, same thing. He was the gay what? guy, too. He says yeah. he wants to speak to Norm, and then he gets through and he does this. Ridiculous. All right. Who writes the scripts for your show? You do? I do with my buddies, you know. But my Artie's buddies. not a buddy? Oh. <laughs> I already is a buddy, but he's down doing all this other stuff. Right. So uh, and I, I my want buddy to... Frank. Remember Frank? Yeah, I know Frank. Yeah, Frank's a good guy. He's a good guy. And Bruce Halford. I want to thank Laura and Lou for stopping by. Norm's big fans. They were sweet girls. Are they right. still outside? Mm. Yeah, they're... Uh, yeah, you're probably going to go home with them. I'm free for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you're free for lunch as long as they pay. <laughs> all right. And the show is great, man. Your All show. Right, we'll be well, thank you. Oh, thank thank you very much. The show is awesome. So thank great. you. Thank awesome. you. I already was saying it's so hard when you switch... From, uh, uh, I think people like when they switch from Saturday Night Live to your show, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very hard to go back to Saturday Night Live because you guys are doing all this crazy stuff and then, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think this new format really works. Uh, Norm asked me how, uh, <laughs> How Saturday Night Live was? I said I don't know. I turned over to. Howard. Yeah, well, Saturday Night Live. That's what Live all my friends say because they're, they're, they're. You know, they watch Saturday Night Live because they're, you know, Program programmed for the last way, 25 yeah. years to yeah. do that. And then they switch, switch over. over. And then it's very hard to switch back because it's compelling. Yeah, these CBS guys have sent me ratings for the February sweeps. And we beat Saturday Night Live with all uh, men 18 to 49. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that those was are good. Those Norm's friends. Those are, yeah, those are all Norm's <laughs> friends. Same as when they showed up for his movie. Yeah. And, uh, That's the best thing on TV. Man. And now all we got to do, now all we got to do is just beat them everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Anyway, um, Norm, thanks. Thanks, man. Always good to see you, Norm McDonald. Are McDonald's. you still coming on the show? Yeah, I want to get on Norm that show. show. I want to get on the Norm show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying Howard to get on the, a no, I have a holding NBC. deal at NBC. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I really do. I can't get on there. So I want to get on there. As soon as I'm out of my holding deal, I'm on. I guarantee you. I'll do Artie's part. All right, the Norm show airs tonight, ABC 930. Everybody watch it. The great Norm McDonald and Artie, thank you for coming here. I'm sorry you're not on the Norm show. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. We'll look for you in something on NBC. Yeah, yeah soon. Lots of stuff. Yeah, as soon as you're out of your holding deal. <laughs> So, Norm, you're not mad at, at Artie, are you? Uh, at outing, for, uh, outing your gambling problems? <laughs> no, he's a good man, Artie. He's good boy. He's a good friend. <laughs> so most good friends out you usually? <laughs> what do you mean by out? You were like, Dave, talking about all your gambling problems. Yeah. No, I don't have gambling problems. No. I just gamble. Right. Here's Artie. Ask him a question. Who that? Who those interns? Jesus Christ. You like? You like that, right? You guys are doing all right. <laughs> Is it better than extra ass? <laughs> uh, it depends on what extra ass you're talking about. All right. Did you guys have a good time? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was really fun, yeah, was man. Great. Hey, Norm, before you go, I just want to bring you down to the production studio and actually Artie, too, and just do, do some thing. IDs real okay, quick. Great. All right? So the first one, Artie, why don't you stand next? Why don't you stand at that mic over there? Oh, you want us both? Yeah. So why don't the first one you do... 
each in, uh, introduce yourselves and then wish Howard a happy 46th birthday. Good Lord, is it that old? Mm. <laughs> Been around for 20 years. 25. Looks good. 46. I'm sorry, what do I... What you just introduce yourselves and then wish him how... Anything you want. Just but wish him a happy 46th birthday. All right, man. Anytime. When Howard Stern stops making radio, they hey, should stop that's my making thing, radio. Man. That's my line. That's my thing. Come the on, guy man. took my thing. Okay, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What, is it happy birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, Howard Stern, the greatest. And let me tell you something. When Howard Stern stops making radio, they should stop making radios. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> terrible. Even though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But you got to introduce yourselves first, because no one's going to okay. know who you are. Okay, right. Um, hey, this is Norm McDonald wishing Howard Stern a happy 46th birthday. And uh, Howard went... Okay, let me start again. Okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. I don't got cue cards. That's anymore. right. <laughs> um, hey, uh, this is Norm McDonald wishing Howard Stern a happy uh, 46th birthday. And let me tell you something. When Howard Stern stops making radios... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking wrote this. It's great. Okay. Ready? Hey, this is Norm McDonald. Don't talk because they'll hear it. Hey, this is Norm McDonald wishing Howard Stern a happy 46th. Happy birthday, Howard. And uh, as I always say, when Howard stops making radio, they should stop making radios. You know what I mean? That was good. <laughs> All right. Go. Good. That's should excellent. I read this one? Should I read it? Yes. You want me to read? You can't read. Oh, read this on the air. <laughs> well, we, so you scratched all this part out? Right, right. Um, I don't understand what it means. Please check back with me in two weeks, because maybe at that point I'll need help. I, I, Is that the joke? I guess that might be the joke. I gotta know the joke, so I know how to <laughs> say it. Okay, okay, okay. Is this going to sound like it's my idea, though? Yeah, but ha we write it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as you know, yeah, yeah. Howard knows you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Howard, no, he Howard proves it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Should I just say it? Yeah. <laughs> I love on this because everybody just looks like a retard, <laughs> retarded actor going, what do I do again? Okay. Uh, hey, I'm Norm MacDonald, and uh, I don't need Howard or the Howard Stern Show because now I have my very own sitcom. That's right. But to check back with me in uh, a couple of weeks, and then I'll probably need him again. <laughs> Howard Stern. And now, I fucked that up. All right, just you can pick it up with "and" now. Pick it up. Oh, right. And now, Howard Stern. All right, that's no, I just got one more for you. All right. This is uh, a, lot of a words. Bob Dole one. Oh, okay. Now, just <laughs> if you want to do something um, on your own, you don't have to do this. But oh, it's just yeah. an idea to do the, the Bob sure, Dole. Try to do this. I don't know if I can do it all that well. <coughs> Purple. Okay. Hi, this is Bob Dole. I'm the guy who could have been president of this great country. But all of you rejected me because I was a cripple. That's right. Well, you may not be rid of me yet because my wife, Liberty Dole, is going to run for the presidency. Ain't that a boot in the ass? I'll be in the White House and not have to do a lick of the work. You heard me. Plus, I got a fresh supply of Viagra. That's right. Anybody got Monica Lewinsky's phone number? I want to try that cigar trick. Except with my pen. <laughs> You're listening to a man who doesn't need Viagra, but he sure could use a penile implant. Howard Stern. That was good. Oh, there you Great. go. One quick thing. Great. And it's just one more, actually. Introduce oh, yourself again. One more, one more and you're out of here. Right. Introduce yourself again and congratulate Howard on 25 years in broadcasting. Wow. That's great. That's great. Well, let me think of something to say. Or should I just say that? Whatever you want to say. Oh, I introduced myself. Yep. Again, right? Hey, this is Norm McDonald. Uh, 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 I should say again, right? Yep. Hey, this is Norm McDonald. Congratulating. Uh, oh no, no, I shouldn't say congratulating. What did you say to say? Again? Uh, congratulate say? Howard on 25 years in broadcasting. So, oh, hey, yeah, congratulations. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, this is Norm McDonald and uh, Howard. I want to congratulate you on 25 years. Did you say broadcasting? Broadcasting. <laughs> Hi, this is Norm McDonald. I want to wish uh, Howard, uh, I want to wish you uh, uh, congratulations on uh, 25 years 
in broadcasting. That's great. And when they stop uh, uh, making, uh, uh, I should do that part, right? I'm gonna do that part. That's good. Okay. Uh, hey, Howard, Norm McDonald here. Uh, wishing you uh, congratulations on 25 years in broadcasting. Let me tell you something, buddy. When you stop doing radio, they should stop making radios. That's right. You heard me. <laughs> all right, great. You're all. That's scared. an excellent line. Yeah. You heard me. That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Scott, good seeing you. <laughs>